Hello everyone and welcome to today's review on which we will cover a brand new Samsung external SSD. And it's not just any ordinary external SSD, this one can reach speeds that are quite incredible, yet bringing us some password protection and endurance at the same time. This is Samsung T9 Black and uh, it says actually Samsung Portable SSD T9 Superfast External Storage. So what's it all about and everything that we, you need to know about it, because we have loads of stuff to go through, uh, we'll check it out. But before we go, there's something quite interesting happening right at this moment while I record. The recording right now is with the T9 on my Blackmagic 6K Pro. So this means one thing that this external SSD can definitely work on the 6K Pro camera from Blackmagic. Why? Well, because I already tested a couple of external SSDs, some managed to work properly, but some actually had problems and the problems were not enough speed or heating up. So this actually does quite a solid job, I would say. So let's dive in into details, features and specifications about the T9 and then we can continue later on benchmarks because we have to go through those as well. Let's go. Of course, eventually I had to switch uh, to my original external SSD for the Blackmagic 6K Pro just to show you that this is it. This is the Samsung T9 Black Portable SSD T9, which uh, comes in this rubberized housing. And this is what helps you with the endurance and reliability. Why? Because it can suffer, let's put it this way, it can suffer the fall of three meters. And that's outstanding because it comes to a point where you decide to take it on adventures or uh, trips or anything similar to that and you need loads of storage for your videos or pictures and you can store it right here and you can be without any stress that if it falls the, I don't know, storage might be damaged. No, with this one it's quite alright. Now the cool thing when I mentioned traveling and taking this and backing up your data is that it comes in a capacity of 1, 2 and 4 terabytes and the cool thing about it is when you plug it in in your PC it automatically standard opens up a window and you can install the portable SSD password protection. Now as a former system engineer use a great password, longer, loads of characters and everything and your data will be saved here because well, if you do lose it accidentally, the data will be safe or at least not safe, but it won't be read. So that's good. Now let's go into some features, details and specs. As I said, the drop resistance up to 3 meters. We have co uh, universal compatibility with Windows, Mac OS, Android phones and tablets, gaming consoles and 12K cameras. Now this is where I mentioned I had to test out the 6K Pro, but it goes even higher than that. And the blazing speeds go up to 2000 megabytes per second with, well, brought to you by USB 3.2 generation 2x2 two two interface. Now, they tested it on Intel Core i9 10900K with Asus ROG Strix Z590E gaming Wi Fi. I used uh, Intel Core i9 12900K with MSI MPG Z690 Edge Wi Fi. So it's quite nice that uh, comparing it to T7 for instance that uses USB 3.2 generation 2 speeds go up to 1050 megabytes per second this one goes up to 2000 megabytes per second it's backward compatible with USB 3.2, 3.1, 3.0 and 2.0 which gives you a possibility to use it on each of the USB standard connections but regardless of that the speeds only function at the newest uh, USB port now, when we talk about dimensions, it's almost the size of your credit card. It has 60 times 14 times 88 millimeters of dimensions with 122 grams, one, two, and four terabytes of storage. Lightweight, you can carry it around anywhere and you don't have to worry if it falls or anything similar to that. Now, also, you can use your Samsung Magician software, which definitely gives the full power to the, to the T9. That's uh, great because you can protect your available data, monitor drive health and get the latest firmware updates, which is outstanding. It uses Samsung flash memory and the interesting part is that because of the housing, it's always below 60 degrees at all times in the controlled conditions. So don't place it on the sun and expect it to be uh, functioning under 60, but we're talking about 
closed or regular weather that won't heat up the SSD. Now, when we take a closer look at the housing, it's uh, rubberized with a certain type of grip, I would say. It's not like a, I don't think it's an intentional, but there is a certain grip. You have the USB Type-C port right here at the back with the LED indication that shows you that it's powered on. At the other side, we have some spe specifications and portable SSD T9 with Samsung logo over here. Now, let's jump into benchmarks. We have a crystal disk mark, read speeds going at 2004.06 megabytes per second and write speeds going at 1823.23 megabytes per second. IOPS read 58380.13 and IOPS write 64978.03. AS SSD read speeds go up to 1784.91 megabytes per second, while the write speeds go up to 1694.81 megabytes per second. Auto disk benchmark read 1.9 gigabytes per second, while the write speeds go up to 1.7 gigabytes per second. And uh, basically, quite interesting when I transferred 19.1 gigabyte file, and I should definitely go with a larger file next time. Uh, read speeds go up to 2.47 gigabytes per second, while the write speeds go up to 1.34 gigabytes per second. This is outstanding because, uh, first of all, it didn't heat up while I was using it with my Blackmagic 6K Pro. Uh, it didn't have any problems with FPS drops because the speeds are there and it can definitely uh, work with those high bandwidth cameras that really need this kind of speeds. And uh, secondly, doing the benchmarks, it's there, the speeds are there, uh, plus minus something, they did state up to 2000 megabytes per second, but it's all down to the hardware, motherboard, processor and everything else that you have in your system. But for instance, if I used it on my Mac OS, it worked perfectly fine there with speeds going above 2000 megabytes per second. So what you get here, you get variety of capacity. You can choose, as I stated uh, earlier, one, two, and four terabytes. It depends on your situation. Do you need one or two or four? Uh, and of course, for what? If you record on some uh, cameras like I do that actually use loads of storage, you'll be going most likely at two or four terabytes. Even for me, one terabyte is quite all right, I would say. Uh, the, the benchmarks that I did was on one terabyte version, so just to state that, so you don't forget, uh, it might vary from one, two, and four terabytes, of course. And after all, when we plug it in in some consoles, you can use it for game saves or just uh, loading the games on it, which will definitely help you with uh, additional storage uh, on your consoles. So yeah, quite satisfied, uh, spe specifically because it has Samsung Magician behind it, and it does help a lot because I do have a 980 Pro in my PC and I use Samsung Magician. So I'm already well aware of the Samsung Magician, how it works, how it helps out uh, with the uh, SSD. Cool thing that it has the uh, password protection and all in all endurance and definitely reliability. This is my third Samsung SSD in my PC and I've changed it because I just wanted to go with next generation SSD and uh, more storage because I started with 500 gigabytes, then one terabyte, two terabyte. So what can I expect from Samsung is endurance, quality and longevity without a doubt. That will be all for today, guys. As per usual, when we're talking about Samsung and I know I haven't been talking too much on the channel because I didn't have the chance, but taking Samsung into consideration with their flash, with their SSDs, Big thumbs up as always, and um, the only thing that I can do right now is, well, place the links in the description so you can check out the Samsung Portable SSD T9. This is one terabyte. I'll try to find two and four as well. Place it over there so you can pick your favorite. That'll be all for today. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and click the notification bell for more content regularly coming to this channel. Thanks for watching. See you very soon. Bye-bye.